having this problem after replacing a Mazda vehicle battery? Today I'm going to show you how to perform a proper Mazda I stop initialize. This video is presented by Aurora, the Malaysia Automotive Diagnostic Equipment Supplier Specialist and Consultancy. Before we start, you can refer to this instruction manual first. You can download this manual by press the link on video description below. Okay. Let's begin. Please verify the value of the battery state of charge. Make sure the SOC is on 75% above. If lower than 75%. Please perform a battery inspection check. Always remember, battery condition always is the most important role for iStop system. Please make sure you have a good and correct battery use. Disconnect the battery negative terminal. And the battery sensor. Leave the battery negative terminal undisturbed for 5 minutes or more. Connect the negative battery cable. Wait 10 seconds or more then only connect the battery sensor. Connect back the battery current sensor. If the battery sensor connector is connected first before the battery negative terminal, the PCM may mistakenly recognize a signal from the current sensor and learn the battery condition incorrectly. Turn on the ignition. Wait for 15 seconds but not more than 1 minutes. Press the I stop off switch for 10 seconds. Verify the iStop indicator light flashing color. Green color flashing light means it can proceed to the next step. If the iStop indicator light flash in amber color, it means you need to back to the battery inspection step again. It could be the SOC drop or the battery condition is not good. Let's continue for the step for green flashing light. Now we switch off the ignition. Close the bornet back into the car and start the engine. Let the engine warm up completely with no electrical load. This is the ISC learning process. Once the engine warm up completely, turn the steering wheel lock to lock position. This is to learn the steering angle position. Turn the steering wheel back to the middle. Turn off the ignition. Please perform the following step within 25 seconds after the ignition on. Turn on the ignition. Within 5 seconds, long press the I stop off switch for 3 seconds. Start the engine. Press the I stop off switch for 3 seconds. Verify that the I stop indicator lights start flashing in green instead of amber. Maintain the idle status with no electrical load until the I stop indicator light green turn off. Okay. The I stop initialize is done. Restart the engine and perform a test drive to make sure the I stop system works properly. I stop only operate on these condition. Let's begin the test drive. Battery in good condition checked. Aircon temperature not set and lowest checked. Drive the vehicle to speed at 4 kmh or more until the I stop indicator green light is on. After vehicle traveling speed at 4 kmh above or more checked, the I stop system is in ready mode now. Let's try stop the vehicle. Alright. The I stop system is operating now. The engine will off and on accordingly to the specification. The whole procedure for the I stop initialize is completed. Hopefully this video can help. In next video I will show you how to disable the Mazda I stop system by using scan tools. Stay tuned.